welcome to Bon Appetina. Today on our show, we have a very special treat for you. I am willing to share my recipe for ding doodles with you. It's simple, but not really. <laughs> it's actually a mix between ring dings and Yankee doodles, which are, you know, not in the shelves anymore, so you can now get them from Miss Asma. <laughs> actually, they've gotten quite a bit of attention, haven't they? They have. Boston.com did a story on them, and every Saturday, it seems like, besides every other day, they're selling over 100, 200, just going crazy. Yeah, they really are going right out the door, and you're going to love them. Um, so we're going to start with a Pillsbury boxed uh, devil's food cake, cake mix. Has to be Pillsbury. I don't know why. They just, none of the other ones are as good. <laughs> In my opinion. In my opinion. All right. So we're just going to put, just start the recipe just like you would a regular cake mix. Follow the directions on the box. So another um, little tip to a boxed cake mix is um, you really, really got to whip it until it almost turns, um, well, if it's chocolate, but it almost turns like a mocha color. Um, you really have to get every little lump out of a cake a boxed cake mix. So I think on the box it says to mix it slow for a minute and then to whip it on a higher speed for two or three minutes. Really, really follow those directions because it really does help make for a better muffin. Let's tell the people about the emergency cake I had to make actually. Well, Tina was in Oh, Fiji. that was funny. <laughs> I wasn't the in Fiji. The cake was uh, waterlogged. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Was it really? Yes, it was very spongy. Did you ask? Not the, not the Oreo one. I made a vanilla one one time. Did you uh, not too follow much water. the water? No, no. I just tried to do you. I tried to just eye it. Why? I thought I was cool. What I do has been has taken years and years of experience. You think I can't master it? No. Obviously, water obviously cake. I can't. All right, here, you can get rid of that, and let's get the cake pan ready. So tell people the story about how these noodles kind of came, came to be. Well, I was just... Um bored one afternoon and thought I'd make muffins and then I was like, oh my god, just sell a muffin and want some muffin. I want to want some muffin. A doodle. So I messed with it. And I got the doodle. So now you want to take a reasonably sized muffin pan. Spray it with your um, Spray oil, pan, and I like to use an ice cream scooper to keep the muffins consistent. Okay, you want to put that in the sink? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, you need to make your muffins a reasonable size. You don't want to try and do this with too small of a muffin because you need, you'll see the next step why you need it to be a little bigger. And I find that one box will make six or seven big muffins. Medicine. <laughs> 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 
And we're just going to get these into the middle rack at 350 and follow the box directions until they're nice and puffed and cracked on the top. And again, make sure it is devil's food cake. Set your timer for whatever it says on the box. I like to set mine for 20 and then check them. Okay, so now while those are baking, we're gonna make the, we're gonna make the fluff frosting. Yep. Did you miss me today? I did. See your face. Apparently humid. Mmm. Yum. So now to start the fluff of frosting, you will need some Crisco. I know, but it must happen. It must be. About two cups. I'm going to need that for the chocolate after. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, you know what? I'm going to need warm water again. Again? Again. And to the Crisco, we are going to add about two cups of fluff. Now, tell me if what I'm thinking is true. When I use things that you know that I'm going to use for something else later, do you secretly bum out that you're going to have to wash it in between? Yes. <laughs> so I thought, right? Yes. So I would say about a half of a one pound container to two cups of um, Crisco. But this is going to make more than you'll need. But this will sit in the refrigerator because there's no um, butter or milk in it. So you could actually keep this for say a week until you make your next batch of um, doodles. Dang doodle. Dang doodle. But we've shortened it to just doodles. But I did, I did say um, to Adam that I was making doodles and he said, snickerdoodles? And I was like, no. So first we're going to incorporate these two together. The, uh, the Crisco and the um, fluff. And then I have here two cups of sifted powdered sugar. Sifted it myself. <laughs> and we're going to add that in slowly. Yeah. Oof. So, if I die and they do an autopsy, they're going to find powdered sugar in my lungs, definitely. Yes, they are. And, like, do you think there's, like, you know how, like, there's miner's lung? Is there a baker's lung? Could there be? There would be the first. And if so, do I have it? Do I have a baker's lung? Do you want it? Why? Why'd you do that? Do you want it? I, I need this. This oh, is what we're going to store. Again. Honestly. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. oh that is a, yes, that is a day in the life. Cleaning up ever so nicely. There. It's perfect again. <laughs> so to this, we're also going to use the warm water to get this nice and fluffy. And I would say about two tablespoons and then turn up the Are you speed. getting the fluff? <laughs> I am. So now we've got this nice and fluffy. Right. And we're going to 
going to just get some of this off of here. And because Bill forgot the pastry bag, we are going to use a Ziploc. This is day seven of sarcasm nastiness. Uh, I'm not nasty. How She's dare you? Awkward. How dare you? I will not be spoken to in that manner. Manner. Honey. Honey. I'm nice. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh, man, I, don't oh, I can do it to you, but you can't do it to me. That's correct. Check the muffins, honey. Yes, dear. All right, so this is the perfect consistency. I'm going to show you in a minute. They're getting there. Oh, are they? They're moving anyway. So, again, because Billy forgot the pastry bag, we're just going to put this into a zip blockage. And we just need a little bit. When the apocalypse happens, she's going to be ready. And she's going to be my leader. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I am zombie ready. Actually, with this whole mess that just went down, I have been telling Paul to please develop a plan where we can meet Grayson and get him in case of an emergency. And because we're big zombie freaks and we watch all that stuff, he just puts it out of his mind thinking that I'm just talking about a zombie <laughs> apocalypse. But when this happened, I said, D did we ever put that in place? And he was like, what are you talking about? And I said, well, you know, we need to be able to find him if something goes horribly wrong. Oh, what a disaster that was. Horrible, horrible what happened to us. You'd think it would never happen to us. Thank God it wasn't a, um, a, sh a school shoot shooting that happened to, to us. I mean, I know that's terrible and, and, and Connecticut was close enough, but oh, just terrible. Just terrible. All right, so that is going back in there. We'll use this later. Now I'm going to show you. I'm just going to keep that for now. You can take this away. <laughs> How to hollow out your muffins. Okay, let's see if those are done. <laughs> Those are perfect, Bill. Yes, they are, Augustina. Oh. Shut the oven. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. So you want these to be completely cooled before you hollow them out. So since I have asbestos hands, I'm going to pull these right out. That shake. Just what did I do the other day that, that made you, like, kill yourself? What did I she burn? Grabbed, she was mixing chicken broccoli ziti with her gloves, and she grabbed her gloves and was like, yeah! <laughs> that's what I did. Okay, yeah, put this in the anyway. sink. <laughs> she would do it, too. That's, there's something wrong with this one. <sighs> so we're going to let these cool completely, and then I'm going to show you how to hollow them out and make the doodle shots. Doodle shots. Okay, so now that our muffins are nice and cool, I've selected three to show you. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut the pointy top off. Billy usually eats these. Actually, what I do with these at the deli is I put a little bit of the frosting and a little bit of the chocolate and I put them out for little samples. And we call them what? Sample doodles. <laughs> Uh, doodle, what do you call? doodle shots. Doodle shots. That's what it is. <laughs> you saw me thinking. Sample doodles. <laughs> and these are also cute if you want to do them as like little tiny appetizers or 
you know, you can get creative with those. Not appetizers, desertitizers. Desertitizers. <laughs> and then you want, you like it, and you want to take out the inside. And this is the part that I let Billy eat. And every now and then he tries to get one of those, and I get angry. Very, very angry. See, she just admitted she was angry. <laughs> Do you want to get the, um, the chocolate ready while I do this? All righty. Do you, do you know how? Yes. Are you going to explain it to the nice people of Westwood? We're Westwick? actually going to put some more of and the Dettel? favorite ingredients. Crisco. Crisco. About, the rest. Okay, so we've got about a cup and a half of chocolate um, chips in here. Um, you can use dark or milk. I like the milk ones and you add about three tablespoons of Crisco and you're gonna cover that with plastic wrap and you're gonna put it into your microwave at 50% power for three minutes. That's right. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna show you Where's how... the plastic wrap? Yes. So while he's doing that, I'm going to show you how to use a Ziploc as a pastry bag when you all of a sudden don't find yourself with a pastry bag. So we just want to fill the inside. I'll wait. Hitting. All right, so now that I've got those hollowed out and I pulled out the gooey inside, we're going to fill the muffin with the cream. It goes much nicer with the pastry <laughs> bag. <laughs> I knew that was coming. That was such a layup. I'm gonna. And we'll just put the extra in here. Every last bit counts. Well, yeah, this is a whole doodle right here. Okay, and then you just want to flatten down. Flatten down the hatches? Yes. This cream so that it's relatively smooth because this is going to get covered in the chocolate. Okay. Oh, we need this washed so that we can um, um, mix the chocolate with that paddle. And I'll even show, oh, you know what? I'll show you how we do the, um, the doodle shots. How is that looking? Can you see in there? Or I don't even know if that's not like the one at the deli you can see. You can see it, yeah. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. Oh, that's the timer. <laughs> okay, so now we can... Uh... Are they done? No, they need another minute. Yep. Another minute. Let's do um, two minutes. Close. No? Yes. Okay, so as you can see, this is melted down and we want to whip this. I don't know where my whiskey is. Into a ganache. Mm-hmm. What show was that? Oh, that was the 
The Dead of Live show. Yeah. <laughs> People are calling him. <laughs> Hi. Okay, see how beautifully smooth that is? And the um, little bit of Crisco makes it nice and smooth and shiny. Isn't that pretty? That's good. Ooh, it's hot too. So I'll just finish these little shots because they're adorable. And this is what you, when you come into the deli, this is what I give you to sample the doodles. And once you've had this here, you're helplessly hooked. Uh, oh. 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 I want. Oh, oh, I want to be alone with it. <laughs> you were thinking the same thing, right? I was. Okay, where's my other glove? Did I? Oh, you used I my used other. Your of other course glove. you did. You want to get me another paper plate so I have a place to put this? So I have an abundance of paper plates. I do. I use them for everything. Thanks, honey. Did you turn the oven off? Yeah. Why would you turn the oven off? When did you turn the oven off? When you were setting the timer. What? Before you set the timer. Why? I thought, they were, I thought we were done. See what happens when you think? No. <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't like being that Same. mean. Same. That wasn't nice. <laughs> okay, so then you <laughs> I'm over it. I'm so over it. So then you take your filled doodell and dip it into the chocolate and give it a nice little whipping around there. Boom. Ooh, that looks great. Pow pow. Ganashed. <laughs> Bang. Bang. Ganashed. All right. So now we're just going to let that sit for a second because I want the... See how it has like a little bit of a, um, it, sinks oh, in. it sinks. So what you need to do is give it just a second and then I'm going to pour some over the top so that it fills in that little, um, yeah, Peruski. right. You want to find me, uh, like a little, like a deep spoon, a deep spoon. Yeah. And that second draw there next to the, um, you yeah. Uh, there might even be a little ladle in there. I'd rather have a little ladle, little ladle. Ah! <laughs> what did you again? I think there might be another little ladle in there. Did you just put that back in my draw dirty? Yeah, Get it out of there. By accident. Wow. Idiot. Okay, so now into that little space. We're going to pour some more chocolate over the top just to fill that little spot. It's kind of like, you know how when you have a newborn baby and it has the soft spot? <laughs> <laughs> Crackers! <laughs> it's kind of like that, only different. <laughs> so you have, to, you have to fill that soft spot. <laughs> you have to fill that soft spot. There we you don't go. press it in further? No. Just... Uh -oh. Very gently fill the top. I, no one has a problem with more chocolate than necessary. No, say. All right. That's a beautiful thing. Let's just look at those. And in a it's minute, amazing. I'm going to show you, when they set, I'll show you when I cut into them what they look like on the inside. And they are just... Amazing. They and really ridiculous. are. They, they are really, ridiculous. Now, I, was make, I had made these for two weeks without tasting them. And people were coming in and were like, you know, someone would buy one. And every single person that got one was in the next day for one. And I was thinking to myself, wow, okay. And they were like, oh, my God. I'll and dozens were going out the door. And I still hadn't even tasted them. And I made the mistake... Of going ahead and having one. Ridiculous. 
Yeah, they really are. The they guy really... made a video actually. Of oh yeah, the that was. That he yeah, he that was a great he did little, a little dance too. He was he was getting giddy. He was happy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So you go doodle shots. You go doodle shots. <laughs> Seriously, it'll be like three stooges. A doodle shot. Doodle shot. Doodle shot. Doodle shot. <laughs> Alright, one more. One, two, three. Doodle shot. Doodle shot. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Those are up. perfect, huh? Damn, that looked good. Okay, so go. Okay. Huh? And so you're gonna show them the doodle shots. Do it one more time. Doodle shots. <laughs> I told you guys she was mean. <sighs> okay, shall we cut into one? Yes. They look beautiful, don't they? They look ridiculous. Let's take this one yeah, in the take middle. Yeah, the one right in the middle. Uh, that's its own music when it opens. Oh, they're not really. Look at that. Is that beautiful? That was amazing. Right. Shall we try it? Yeah. The same one? I was going to feed you. Now you're going to feed me? Okay, now you're going to smash it on my face. We no. Know there it comes. I don't want to use the same fork. <laughs> Is it good? Very good. Diane, that's a very big, here you take that one too, it was too big. <laughs> you oh dear lord. You are unbelievable at what you do. Oh sweet, cellulite. Oh, that is fantastic. Tell them where they can get these lovely things. So. If you feel up to making them, you got the recipe. If you didn't catch everything, you can call me at the deli, 781-329-3354. If you don't feel like making them, I can whip them up for you in no time at all. Come down and see us at the deli. We're always on. We're always happy. Oh, and these are the, these are the doodle shots. This is what you get when you walk through the door at the deli. Uh, these are two little samples of the doodles. And no one really says no to a doodle. One guy tried to say no, and then he just got whisked away. Yeah, I told him. The hook him. came out. I said, dude, <laughs> you don't say no to a guinea. Anywho, thanks for coming. See you next time on Bon Appetina, and enjoy. And don't doodle. <laughs> just get this doodle. Bye. See, that's what it was supposed to look like.